The Himalayan has an all-new design for 2024. No matter where you look, there's barely anything carried forward from the previous model. Up top, you get an all-LED headlight, flanked by chunky LED turn signals and a muscular high-set fender. You also get stanchion protectors and a new smaller windscreen over the outgoing version. The same trend follows in the middle. A curvy, bulbous fuel tank takes over from the older, angular unit. It not only looks larger and holds 0.5 gallons more, but also has new tubular braces with. My favorite bit, though, is the tail end. The integrated 3-in-1 tail lamps infuse a sense of extravagance, giving the Himalayan a unique character. So unique, you can spot the motorcycle in the biggest crowds with ease. To top the big, Butch Adivi aesthetic re-offers the motorcycle in Casa Brown, Slate Poppy Blue, Slate Himalayan Salt, Comet White, and Handle Black liveries. I had the Slate Himalayan Salt livery, which looks felt with neon red accents and a gray base coat. The paint quality is consistently good all around, with no shortage of Himalayan badges for extra pizzazz. Even the spoke wheels have these. Once you swing a leg over it, you will notice the cockpit is entirely different from the outgoing model, too. The mostly analog instrument cluster has paved the way for a fully digital TFT display packed to the teeth with information. A joystick lets you deep dive into it, giving you access to the two trip meters, instantaneous efficiency, voltage, range, and engine temperature. Another switch on the right-hand side is present for switching between the four ride modes, performance with ABS on, performance with rear abs off, eco with abs on, eco with rear ABS off. Another notable detail is the built-in smartphone connectivity. Just long press the mode button and you're taken to a different layout. Then, just connect your Royal Enfield app to mirror the navigation map on your TFT directly. The catch here is mirroring, as you'll have to keep the phone screen on for the entire time. Or else the map will disappear. It can drain your phone battery fast, but hey, there's a Type-C port just under the handlebar to juice it back up. Quite conveniently placed, especially if you use a phone mount. Overall, the plastic and display quality qualifies as nice. It's an intuitive display and reacts well to the inputs. You'll just have to put in some time to understand the menus. Likewise, you'll have no complaints about the plastic quality either. Everything feels premium without any flimsy elements. But again, the rotary switch gear takes some time to get used to. As good as everything sounds, there are some minor misses. For instance, the switches aren't backlit, there's no adjustability for the levers, and Ari's app isn't user-friendly. While I'm not too concerned about the last bit, the first two are certainly things I expected from the otherwise premium offering. The 2024 Royal Enfield Himalayan has undergone SIG.